The rapture is a theological concept associated with Christian eschatology, the study of end times, that describes the belief that Christians will be taken up, or and quot, caught up, and quot, to meet Christ in the air, prior to a period of tribulation or the second coming of Christ. The idea of the rapture is primarily based on interpretations of certain passages in the New Testament, especially from the writings of the Apostle Paul. Key Bible passages, 1 Thessalonians 4:16-17. This is one of the most frequently cited passages regarding the rapture. The Apostle Paul writes, and quote, for the Lord himself will come down from heaven, with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. And quote. And quote. Caught up and quote. Is a phrase often associated with the rapture. In the original Greek, the term used is and quote, harpazo, and quote, which means to snatch or seize suddenly. In Latin, this term was translated to and quote, rapturer, and quote, which is where the English word and quote, rapture and quote, comes from. This passage suggests that both the dead and the living believers will be taken up to meet Christ in the air. When he returns, 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 51 to 52, Paul also writes about a transformation of believers in this passage. And quote, listen, I tell you a mystery. We will not all sleep, but we will all be changed in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound. The dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. And quote. This suggests that believers will experience an instantaneous change from mortality to immortality when Christ returns. Different interpretations of the rapture. There are various interpretations within Christianity about when the rapture will occur and how it relates to other end-time events. Particularly the tribulation, a period of intense suffering and persecution. Pre-tribulation. Rapture. Believers will be taken up to be with Christ before the seven-year tribulation begins. This view is often associated with dispensationalist theology, which sees a distinction between the church and Israel in God's end-time plan. Mid-tribulation rapture. Believers will be raptured in the middle of the tribulation, before the more severe judgments of the latter half of this period. Known as the Great Tribulation. Post-tribulation rapture. The rapture will occur at the end of the tribulation, just before or during Christ's second coming. This view holds that believers will endure the tribulation but will be taken up just prior to Christ's final return to establish his kingdom. Partial rapture theory. Only those believers who are spiritually ready and watching for Christ's return will be taken up, while others may be left to endure the tribulation. Theological debate. The concept of the rapture is debated among Christians. Some argue that the Bible doesn't explicitly describe the rapture as a separate event from the second coming of Christ. These Christians view the passages about believers being and quote, caught up and quote, as referring to a simultaneous event where Christ returns, defeats evil, and establishes his kingdom. Others, especially those who adhere to dispensationalist theology, emphasize a distinction between the rapture and the second coming. According to this view, the rapture is a and quote, secret and quote, coming, where Christ appears to remove the church, 
while the second coming is a visible event where Christ returns to judge the world. Connection with the tribulation and second coming. In many views of the rapture, the tribulation is a central event. The rapture is believed to spare believers from the worst of God's wrath that will be poured out during the tribulation, especially in the pre-tribulation view. The second coming of Christ, which is when he will establish his kingdom, judge the nations, and reign over the earth, is distinct from the rapture in many interpretations. In some, while the term and quot, rapture and quot, is not explicitly used in the Bible. The concept of believers being caught up to meet Christ is drawn from scriptural passages. Different Christian traditions interpret the timing and nature of the rapture in various ways, leading to ongoing theological discussion. Share and like the video.